Hello everybody and welcome from the Shelby County Arts Council. This is Chris Cruz and I am one of the teachers here uh, that does acrylics, watercolors and mixed media classes for adults and children. And today the project that we're doing is one of the projects that I did with my kids uh, with the Make It and Take It Wednesdays with Chris Cruz. And that class is from 3.30 to 4.30. So if you live in the Columbiana, Alabama area, uh, have one of your kids join us for these classes or you can watch along at home and paint along with me. Uh, today we are going to paint with acrylic paints, a regular brown craft paper bag that you can find at your dollar store, nothing too expensive. And we're going to use four colors of paint. We're going to use white, green, blue, and yellow. And if you have some scrapbook paper at home, which I know we all do, uh, we're going to use that too and a little Mod Podge. And this is safe for kids, so um, this is a really easy project to do. So what I did is I went ahead and I drew my flowers, kind of flowers, on the top, front of my bag here. And then when we're done, we're going to glue the little uh, flower pot. And it's going to look something like this, I hope. So first thing I do is I wet my brush. And you're going to wonder, what brush is she using? I want that brush. Well, it's a number six silver bristle on round brush. Uh, and it's a very good hardy brush, so you can abuse it all you want and, and it will come back uh, kicking. So we're gonna start first with the centers of our flowers. We always try to start with the lighter areas first. So what I do is I'm gonna really load up this brush with some yellow and I have very little water in my brush, just enough to have it moist. And I'm going to just go in a little circle. Anybody can do a circle, right? Easy. We got another one here. We're gonna do another little circle. And we have another one here and we're gonna do another little circle. And have you noticed that my circles are not really round? I can't draw a round circle, so. Come back and I'm not gonna rinse my brush out. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of white on the corner of my brush and I'm gonna put a little bit on the edge here to highlight it. And what happens is this yellow and this white mixes as you can see, and it creates a light and a dark area. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush, because now we're gonna use some blue color to do the flowers. So I'll get all my yellow out so that my blue and my yellow don't mix and I wind up with green. So we're gonna do the blue here. So I'm gonna again load up my brush with the blue, but I'm gonna take the white and I'm gonna make that blue a little bit lighter. And again, I'm gonna do a circle around my flower here. And don't worry about the pencil marks. Nobody will see those, only you. So come here and do your blue, right? And you can see that the white and the blue is all mixed in there. Pick up a little bit more blue and white. And there will be different colors. Some of them will be a little darker, some will be a little lighter. And the good thing about this is it's a paper bag. If you don't like it when you're done, just throw it out. But find a way to fix it. There's, there's, you, can't, you can't mess this up. So I'm gonna do a little blue here, right? Ah, let's put this little guy on top. I think he will look good on top. So that's easy to do, right? Anybody can do that. So now we want to put a little darker color on the outside of our flower. So I'm going to rinse my brush completely because now it's like really saturated with paint and it's all messy. So I'm going to take my blue and a little bit of that white and I'm going to shade the left side of my flower. Do the top one. See that? And pick up a little bit of water. I'm a little dry here. And do the blue. And by blending all those colors together, you have some little flowers, right? So we want these guys to be, we don't want to see a little bit of that brown bag there. So I'll come back to my yellow. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that color just on the edge, pure yellow. And you see that when it mixes with the blue, it kind of gives it like a little highlight. Those are little tricks of the trade that I'm giving you, so. Okay, so now we have some little stems. 
I'm telling you, this is like such a fun project to do. I even do this with my seven-year-old grandson, and uh, we always make our little gift bags for his mom and his dad. And he loves putting horses and cars, you know, what little boys like to do. So I will take my green and make another little puddle with some yellow. And I'm gonna make my stem here and a stem here, right? And don't worry if you go in here because we're gonna glue that paper in. Then I'm going to take my green and my yellow and I'm just gonna go one big stroke. Don't go back and forth, don't go mixing it once, once. That's it, once. And you rinse your brush. So if your kid has a birthday party and you wanna do something different, don't tell anybody, but bring them over here and we'll, we'll do a little birthday party with them. Okay, and everybody goes home with something nice. So in my cup here, I have just regular Mod Podge, nothing special, and I am going to wet my brush, and I am going to put that on my paper bag to glue it on there. And you know, if you want to come with your friends, it doesn't have to be kids' classes. I'm available here twice a month on Saturdays to do workshops. And I'm putting a little bit more on here, make it a little bit wider. Now, if you want to purchase the kit for this and make this at home, it comes with your paper bag, your drawing, or your paper, extra paper. I always throw a little extra paper in there in case you don't like the one that I picked. Maybe you like blue and you don't like yellow, right? So then my other little scrap of paper, I'm putting it on the top here. And I'm gonna glue it on. And now you have a gift bag that you can give to anybody you like and they're gonna be so impressed with it. So I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video. There's other videos on my YouTube channel, Chris Cruz Designs. And if, like I said, you wanna purchase the kit or other kits that I have available, go to my website chriscruzdesigns.com and you'll find a literal of treasures in there. So enjoy your painting and I'll see you at another video. Take care. Bye-bye.